Well, we are getting new details about Clarence Thomas's life off the Supreme Court bench. ProPublica is out with a new report detailing lavish vacations, private jet trips, and VIP treatment at sporting events, more than we knew about before. All of it paid for by a wider circle of billionaire friends. CNN's Tom Foreman has you covered. The most complete accounting yet of the high life of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas shows much, much more than previously known. More private jets, more fancy vacations, more sporting events, all gifts from mega-rich businessmen and documented through public and private records, plus interviews by ProPublica. Justice Thomas has been living a life of extreme luxury for 30 years, underwritten by at least four different ultra-wealthy benefactors. Earlier reports have revealed lavish gifts to Thomas, including a house for his mother and this nine-day vacation in Indonesia from conservative billionaire Harlan Crow. I've come from regular stock. Who also underwrote a film about Thomas's humble taste. I prefer the RV parks. Now the list of benefactors includes three more names, according to ProPublica, David Sokol, Wayne Huizinga, and Tony Novelli. The report says the four moguls collectively treated Thomas to 38 destination vacations, including a previously unreported voyage on a yacht around the Bahamas, 26 private jet flights, plus an additional eight by helicopter, a dozen VIP passes to professional and college sporting events, two stays at luxury resorts in Florida and Jamaica, and one standing invitation to an uber-exclusive golf club. The dollar value, likely in the millions, little of which appeared in required financial disclosures, according to ProPublica. Thomas has previously said he didn't feel the need to disclose some gifts, and that worries Jeremy Fogel, an expert on judicial ethics and a former judge. I simply couldn't have done this, and e even if the people involved didn't have interest before the court, uh, it it's it's just the the idea that you are receiving gifts of this magnitude. Associate justices make about $285,000 a year. In 2001, when they made about 100000 less, Thomas spoke up. The job is not worth doing for what they pay. It's not worth doing for the grief, but it is worth doing for the principal. Now he bristles at questions about his principles. He calls Crow merely a friend. Crow says they never talk about Thomas's work. And the new report found none of these wealthy pals seem to have had cases before the court. Still. Which one of these new benefactors, uh, just like Harlan Crow, came into his life after he was appointed to the Supreme Court. That's why it's so problematic from an ethics standpoint. 